Hey, and welcome to a Pick a Card. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's Pick a Card is going to be all about what's holding you back and how can you move forward. And your choices are the Big Blue Ball of Bliss or the Blue Appetite Sphere, the Rose Quartz Skull, or our favorite, Oscar. For pile number three, timestamps as usual will be, will be down below. As well as um, in the first comment for your convenience for my mobile users. And also if you like any of these decks and you would like to fig find out how to purchase them and whatnot, I have some affiliate links down below in the description box in case you would like to check them out. And without further ado, we will go ahead and jump right in. If you need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video now. But other than that, we are going to jump right in with the big blue ball. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the big blue ball of bliss, let's see what we get. So this pile over here is going to be the pile that's the issues that are currently holding you back. An outcome for what you can do to help move forward. And this is some extra guidance as well to help you get out of this. And some extra um, love guidance type of cards to help you as well. So... We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And then we have the trouble card. And then we have the detached card. So with this, I feel like you've been having some trouble with detaching um, from people's judgments as well as casting judgment on others. And it's been getting you into some trouble as well. Especially like I hear at work and with some friends at home. So with this judgment card, I feel like you've also been judging yourself very harshly as well. And it's also holding you back. So it's causing you to have major trouble with detaching from those beliefs. Alrighty. And that that's what's needed at this time. And that's what's going on. So what can we do to help you move forward? So we have timing, perseverance, and third eye chakra. So intuitively, you know it's about time to help yourself get out of this and to detach and finally finish getting over these lessons and to um, stop continuing to cast judgment or judging yourself harshly as well. And once, you'd be, once you're able to do this, you'll end up having perseverance and it'll come in just the right amount of time is what I get with this. Because your intuition is guiding you right now. Because that's what the third eye chakra is all about. is guided intuition and um, clairvoyance as well. As well. Ugh, having a little trouble speaking today. <laughs> so, also, being able to speak your truth and say what you need to say. And not letting people judge you as well and speaking up for yourself. Can also lead you to having some um, blockages as well with having trouble with detaching from that and other people's stigmatisms towards you as well. But you can persevere through this. The perseverance card reads, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So know that you can get through this and that it will work out, especially in its own time. But you're ready for that and the time is now to move forward is what I'm getting with this. Alrighty. So once you're able to move forward, what will it lead you to? Abundance. I am a limit. Yeah. <laughs> I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Yes, you can. Because what you want, you can go out there and you can do that and you can achieve your goals. But you have to take the initiative in order to do this. And you have to also keep a positive mindset in order to help you manifest this abundance to come in so that you can quite frankly, receive all of this abundance. And I feel like you will be also receiving some messages quite soon on some abundance that will be coming your way since you've made the decision to finally cast off and detach from other people's judgments towards you and also stop judging yourself so harshly and to be able to change your mindset and turn things around in order to take the lead and have this abundance come in and receive all the recognition that you actually so well deserve. So let's see what the other um, guidance cards that we have 
to help you as well with this. It says, say you're sorry. So with this say you're sorry card, I feel like you need to apologize to yourself for judging yourself harshly and also to someone that you may have had a falling out with. I don't know who that's going to resonate with, but if you've had a falling out with someone, I feel like you owe them an apology and you need to kind of try and talk to them and tell them that you understand and you see their point of view. It says, are you carrying around regret? Is there a relationship that needs healing, but you just don't know what to say? Give your pride a rest and simply start with, I'm sorry. Take responsibility and acknowledge your role in the situation. Apologize for them and for you. Then let it go and be very proud of yourself. Making amends isn't easy, but it's a huge leap forward on your spiritual path. Bravo. So doing this will also help to bring in this and it will help to relieve, relieve any burden that's been sitting on your shoulders. We have the ask for help card. With this, I'm really attracted to the angel in this card. One second, guys. I got to pull my mic down. So with the ask for help card, I feel like asking and praying and calling upon your guides and angels is what's also most needed to help you move forward and to help give you the strength and the peace of mind as well. And know that they are there helping you and guiding you along the way as well with those who have been seeing um, triple and quadruple digit numbers is what I hear instead of just double digit numbers. These are mostly quadruple and triple digit numbers that you've been seeing lately. Know that they are trying to get your attention with these sets of numbers, whether it be one, two, three, four, and also three, 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 two, 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 and also the infamous 1111 as well, because the 1111 is trying to get your attention mostly because that is the most popular number out there. And it's the one that they know will catch your attention the most. So we have, are you consistently giving to others yet rarely receiving what you need? Then it's time to ask for help. You're not superwoman or superman, because I'm going to put that in there. So there's no need to do it all yourself. You have an army of angels on speed dial. Give them a call. Communicate your needs and learn to receive, dear one. When we're open, <clears throat> when we're open to the help that's all around us, the universe provides assistance. Make sure to look for signs or yeah, to look for signs, to look for the signs. Once you ask for help, they'll start appearing. So I'm also hearing as well, even though I said a few numbers, there's multiples out there. So whatever numbers you're seeing in triplicate and also in quadruple, those are your numbers. Those are your signs to pay attention to. If you would like to look those numbers up to see what they mean, hit Google up. It'll help you. And if you want to ask me any questions, I can also answer those down below for you and help you the best way I can as well about the numbers. So we have forgiveness heals. And this goes well with the say you're sorry card is what I get with this. Once you're able to mend this connection that you may have had a falling out with, as well as, um, with yourself, you'll have a lot of forgiveness and you'll have a lot of healing with it. So you can be able to finally forgive yourself as well as the other person forgiving you and vice versa. We have forgive yourself and others. Let go of the old story. Release any guilt and blame. Everyone is doing the best they can. This includes <clears throat> you. Kickstart the healing process by surrendering all the judgment and hurt. Your health and happiness will thank you. So know that when you are able to finally get this forgiveness and to give and release it from yourself as well, you will have that weight lifted off your shoulders. Your chest will feel much lighter and you won't feel like you have something on your chest that you need to get off of your chest and you will be able to be open hearted, especially in your heart chakra. Alrighty. These are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. Please remember to take what does and leave the rest. If it does not, and please do not try to force it into your situation. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and I will see you next video. Thanks and have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the rose quartz go, let's dive in and see what's holding you back and get you some help to help you move forward and some also extra love messages as well. These will be the issues and blockages that are holding you back and outcome and what we can do to help you get there. So for what's holding you back, we have opportunity beckons, which is the four of cups, which is not being able to 
see what's right in front of you and notice um, the blessings that you have. But let's see what other cards we have because that may change that meaning. We have envy. I am the same as everybody but with different cha uh, challenges. Excuse me. We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And then we have gossip. I feel like someone in your life has been jealous of you or has been treating you very unfairly as well for those of you out there. And I feel like with them doing this to you, that is making you miss out on great opportunities and holding you back kind of like a 10 ton um, weight and causing you to feel very lonely in your relationship because I feel like this is relationship based because of the cups card and because of what I'm seeing over here and I'll get to that in a moment. I feel like this person has made you feel very um, worthless and I feel like they've trapped you with making you feel very lonely. And I also feel like it's caused you to have envy of them because they can say whatever they want and get away with it. But yet when you want to speak what you need to speak and say what you need to say and how you feel, it's not fair and you don't get to say that. So I feel like that's causing a little bit of envy and what's also causing you to have a lot of loneliness right now. So what can you do or what can we help you to do to get through this? Patience. I accept that Everything happens in divine order. I know that patience and having to wait and take time sucks balls. Sorry to say it, but it does. But it's what's most needed right now. And taking time to yourself and pulling yourself away from this toxic person and this toxic energy that's making you feel this way. Because we have the four of swords with just breathe, which is taking time to yourself and resting and going and, and retreating. So by doing this, and taking your time and having the patience to take that time to take care of yourself and to make yourself better and to build yourself back up and rejuvenate yourself and get away from this person and out of that loneliness feeling, it's going to bring you to the end of that cycle and it's going to cause a miracle to happen with new beginnings, excuse me, that will be coming in for you with the Ace of Wands with strengthening bonds. So I feel like a new relationship will definitely be coming in for you with this and that that's what it's leading you to do once you release this person from your life excuse me Whew. once you release this person from your life it's going to have a miracle effect because it's going to come out of nowhere and you're not going to see it coming because it'll finally be and it's going to signal the end once this person walks into your life because they will make you feel so noticed and so loved that you wouldn't have even seen it coming. And this person is also very unlikely to be the person that you would think it would be, as well as what I hear. So let's see what other advice we can give you to help you. We have elevate your energy. So once you're able to go with within and retreat from this person, it'll help to rejuvenate your energy and it'll help boost your self-esteem and it'll help to bring this miracle in even faster so that it won't make you wait so much with the patience card, but patience is definitely needed with this. It says your thoughts and your vibrations that attract positive or negative energy. Notice your current emotional state. Clear any negativity, negativity, excuse me, through conversation, movement, breath, work, prayer, meditation, and so on. Then guide your thoughts back to love and abundant possibilities. When you elevate your energy, you attract abundance, health, and prosperity into your life kind of self-explanatory in itself but by doing that and taking the time to yourself and to release and to just breathe it elevates your energy it raises your vibration and it helps you to attract what's most needed in your life and to also help manifest what you so have been praying and longing for it says you can't please everyone so quit trying to please this person and drop them, please, because this person is holding you back. They are doing nothing but just that. And I'm really sorry to put it that way, but it is what it is. I mean, it's right there in front of you. So quit trying to be a people pleaser because I'm one myself and I do it all the time and it always gives me a blockage. So I quit trying to do that and I just started being myself and staying to myself and I feel much better and I've been able to move myself forward. Hence, I'm doing this, what I've always ever wanted to do, my dream, 
read tarot for you guys and help others. And it makes me feel so good to have and read all your lovely comments about how spot on I've been and how much it's helped you with some of you. So the card reads, when you're focused on living up to others, um, other people's standards, you aren't spending enough time raising your own. Some folks, ex some folks expect you to act a certain way or march to the beat of their drum, their boring drum. They find safety in sameness, but you have beautiful music inside of you. Your flair is meant to be shared. Don't shrink to fit in or get approval. Instead, dump your need to please and just be your magnificent, wonderful, beautiful self. Yes, I added some words, but I think they're needed. I love yes. <laughs> so our last card is be present. Always be mindful of everything around you. Be mindful of how you feel and what's causing it. If you find yourself in a negative spot, take a second, take a deep breath and think what's triggering this, what's happening, because it's a lesson for you to pay attention to and to release and to change your mindset. So we have your full presence is the greatest gift you can give yourself and others. Life is happening right now in this moment. Today is the only day that matters. Anchor yourself in the now and give it your all. Notice the details and drink in the sweetness and be present. And know that journey, the journey is half the battle, but that is also the sweetest and most fun part of the entire thing. So stay present, stay aware, take your time to yourself, put things in order and watch everything blossom for you and come in fast in the what you think and probably faster than you can blink is what I hear. <laughs> I know it seems funny, but it's what I get. So I do hope you enjoyed this. I do hope that these messages resonated and to remember that these are general and to take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't on the floor. Know that I love you and I will see you next reading. Have a blessed one, guys. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Oscar, let's get into this. This set right here is going to be the issues and blockages that are holding you back. Some outcome cards. Something to help you move forward to achieve this outcome. And some extra love guidance for you guys. So what seems to be holding you back is we have the grief card and control. The control card in this deck is the strength card. So with grief it says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I feel like... There's been a very, like a lack of control, a lack of control to where it's causing you a lot of sadness and depression and is really starting to stunt your growth with moving forward, especially your spiritual growth. And I feel like you haven't allowed yourself to grieve from something, especially a loss that was recent for some of you out there. I don't know who that'll resonate with, but I feel like you need to properly allow yourself to grieve. And I feel like that's most needed because it's messing with your control and your strength and your mental clarity. And it's really got you pinned and it's really holding you back is what I feel with this. I feel like you've been struggling for quite some time in order to speak up because I'm really attracted to this and to say how you truly feel and actually admit and acknowledge how you truly feel as well. And if it wasn't the loss of a loved one, I feel like it was the loss of maybe a relationship that was very important to you. I feel like you haven't grieved enough from that and allowed yourself to feel and process those emotions to move forward enough. But what you can do is we have the win or lose, which is the five of swords. We have choice and we have judge. So with this, you can make the choice to open up or you can make the choice to stay in this grief and stay stuck but only you can make the judgment call on that one because it's fighting a losing battle if you choose not to process this grief and process the emotions and let them out and say what you need to say and properly feel and process that through because it's 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 just gonna clog you up and it's gonna keep you keep you trapped and it's fighting a losing battle with the five of swords. So it's up to you to make the choice and make it a final one 
and to call that make that judgment call it's up to you but once you do you have a well-deserved reward coming in with the nine of one um nine of pentacles excuse me you have well-deserved reward coming in because you were able to make that clear choice with um and come up with a very kind of like imaginative way to do it like a creative very creative way to help pull yourself out of this and to help yourself feel and process this grief that needs to be processed because it's blocking you from your life purpose it's blocking you from move, moving forward to pursue this life purpose and it's also blocking you from achieving your dream so you have to believe in yourself in order to achieve this purpose and in order to achieve this well-deserved reward that's coming in for you because you deserve this and you know it especially intuitively because I'm really attracted to all this purple your intuition is screaming at you make the choice come on you know what you got to do let's do it alrighty I'll read also what the cards say as well the imagination card says I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so making this creative choice in order to get yourself over this hump and into this believed process is definitely going to take some crazy imagination but it'll be well worth the reward because it's a well-deserved reward it says it itself and then we have for your purpose card it says i know what i'm here to do you know what you got to do you got to reach for it and you'll receive it so let's get you that extra love guidance to help give you a boost we have make waves so action is most needed you got to dive right in let those emotions out and let everything flow it's your turn to make a splash rock a few creaky boats don't be afraid to get wet you may fail you may look foolish or you may <clears throat> or you may make people think in a new way every great trailblazer <clears throat> trailblazer and change maker made waves you are no different so that's something to keep in mind set the example set the tone for what you want and follow it it's time to stop procrastinating your current obligations and responsibilities can no longer be put off chop chop it's time to buckle down to do and do the work the resolution and abundance you seek requires action ignore say <clears throat> ignore any naysayers or saying voices same thing whatever <laughs> believe in yourself you can do this procrastination often comes from the fear that you can't that you can't you'll be so relieved and proud when it when this is behind you so remember take that choice make the action make the decision to finally release this and grieve properly so that you can finally move forward and stop putting it off because the more you put it off the more you're blocking yourself the more you're going to stay stuck breathe deeply breathe big let it all in expand your fabulous belly who cares if your jeans feel too tight <laughs> here's an idea by a roomier pair deep full breaths invigorate you they release sadness and allow ecstasy to flood in pause inhale a long slow big delicious breath exhale remember when <clears throat> whenever the going gets tough take a deep breath and trust that you are capable of greatness so a little one minute meditation never hurt anybody with some deep breathing to pull you back into center and to help you release and to relax these are your messages I do hope that they resonated and I do hope that you got some um, good advice out of this remember to take what does and whatever doesn't fit your situation leave it on the floor and let it go so without further ado I will say thank you have a blessed one and I will see you next reading